This time we'll learn how to enable and disable services and run levels uh, on our sysv init system. So it's not for people that are using systemd. Um, only distributions like Debian or Ubuntu that are still on uh, sysv you can use this for. And other distribution they might be using this still. So anyways, point is install this program sysv-rc-conf here. And this program has two interface I would say. So they have a text user interface and also a command line interface. So let's do this here. We'll do the text user interface first because it's easier um, to do this. C conf. So that's the uh, text user interface here. Uh, on your side here, your left side, it'll say services. So basically like uh, your Bluetooth, Daemon, your Cron, your cups for a printer, so on and so forth. Right, these are your services and the numbers, these are your run levels uh, that you can activate at a certain time if you want. Um, I'll explain what these mean in a minute, but other hotkeys you can do is uh, the minus sign for stop services, the plus or equal sign is for um, starting services, H is for help, Q is to quit. Down here, control N is next page. Control P is for previous page and space is to toggle it. So if you want to enable like a, a service, uh, you know, and uh, different run levels. So for example, we use Anacron here. Just move around with your arrow keys, right? And if you want to enable like run level two, you hit space. Uh, there's three here, space, and then say skip to uh, five here, space, and that's how you do that. And if you want to start now, you hit the the equal sign. And it'll start it and hit OK. That's pretty much it. Uh, if you want to stop it, you hit the, the minus sign. Right, hit OK. And uh, if you want to undo these uh, levels here, whatever, space, space, space. And basically, what that does is that um, it will disable it. Like when you reboot your system, it will not start up that service ever. Okay. So that's the reason. Now, I had to use this because uh, I had transmission. I'm not sure why Debian does this, but whenever you install the transmission daemon, uh, it will like enable, um, I think these like uh, four here, right? So two, three, four, and five, these levels. And I'll run it as uh, admin. So it's really annoying because you can't really add torrents because uh, you would have to, you know, type in your password and shit like that. Um, or like set your password and your configurations. And I didn't really like to doing that, so I would usually have to disable these uh, run levels and, and uh, the transmission daemon in itself, uh, and run it as a normal user. Anyways, that's what you do in here. Just you know, space, 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 and it will not uh, run it on boot up anymore. So that's the service here. Anyways, that's how you do it from uh, the text user interface here. Just uh, you know, hotkeys to move around. And once you're done, uh, you can just quit. Now, as far as these run levels, let me explain what it is here. There's a Wikipedia page here. So the general idea is that uh, when your computer boots up, you know they have like different, uh, I guess, modes that it will go through. So the zero means halt, aka shutdown. Six is the reboot. So rarely do you ever use those. Uh, when you're using like system level stuff, it's mainly like uh, one through five, really. Right, so one is for a single user mode, and then multiple uh, user modes, and then you have the network, and then it'll you know boot up into the GUI and stuff like that, Display Manager, and this is the general idea. But uh, different distributions means different shit. So you see how Debian here, they have uh, two to five means something else, and on the Ubuntu's is three to five. So like I said, uh, different run levels on different distributions might mean something else. So check that up if you want to configure that the way that you want it. It's really not that important. I just want to disable um, transmission only. But that's what it means. And that is the text user interface, which is pretty easy. I think anyone can use it. But if you want to use it from the command line, let's quit out of this here. It's still the same commands, but um, what's that? Sysv rc conf here you do a dash dash list right and right now this one is all off 
and this one's the default here right so it's all off if you want to enable the defaults you can do what the hell is that sudo sysvrc conf and you can do a general idea is just typing the, the name of it so transmission uh what was that daemon right and you want to turn it on you do on and that's pretty much it right now is off right but if we list it again it'll be on so that's how you enable it quickly uh, if you want like a specific um, what was that the, a specific run level so let's say we turn this off first so off list it again right these are off here but let's say I just want to enable uh, three and five only how do we do that we can do uh, the same thing really uh, what would say this one's on and as far as the the levels we do dash dash level and we just want to enable three and five right that's it run that sucker and then we'll list it again now you see that uh, three and five is on and that will you know Started and all that. If you want to start the service, you can do. What was it? How do you start a service? You do sudo uh, service transmission daemon, and then you can do start right, and that will start the service. Um, or you want to stop it. You can stop it. Now this one um, would have been great if they actually have a disable option, but they really don't have a disable option. All the options they have is just force reload, reload, restart, start, status, and stop. But that does not disable it when you reboot. So that's that. That's why we're using this other program because the other one does not disable it. All right. Anyways, uh, that's how you, you know, change different run levels, disable different services, uh, so on and so forth. Not that hard. Just install that program. Uh, sysvrcconf and don't disable any services that you do not understand because you might not be able to boot up again if you disable the wrong one alright that'd be it for this one